I have two cylindrical tanks here that contain some liquids. It doesn't matter which liquids. However, we would like to know their densities in kilograms per cubic meter. In tank 1, it is row 1, and in tank 2, it is row 2. Here's what we know. Each tank has a radius and the height of the liquid inside that tank. For the first tank, they are R1 and H1. And for the second tank, they are R2 and H2. Both the radii and the heights are in meters. If we don't consider the masses of the tanks themselves, then the mass of the liquid in tank 1 is M1 kilograms, and the mass of the liquid in tank 2 is M2 kilograms. However, we don't know these masses. What we do know, though, is the sum of those masses. We know that M1 plus M2 equals B kilograms. Using the knowledge you obtained in the first math problem with the mass of the arc, your task now is to calculate the densities of the liquids in both tanks, row 1 and row 2. However, note that unlike in the example with the car, you now have two unknowns, row 1 and row 2. When you have two unknowns, but only one equation, then you cannot solve for those unknowns because you don't have enough information about your problem. Thus, the missing piece is the following. Row 2 equals A times row 1. This is a second equation that tells you how the densities relate to each other. As a side note, you might want to recall that there is something called a distributive property. So if I have A times and then in the parenthesis, I have B plus C, then I can also write it like this, A times B plus A times C. And the reverse operation of this property is factoring, which means that if at the beginning I have this equation, then since I have A here and also here, I can factor it out and my equation will again take this form with a parenthesis. These properties might be useful in this problem. The other thing is that if you have noticed, I haven't given you specific numbers for R1, H1, R2, H2, the constant A that relates the two densities and the B, which is the sum of the two masses of the liquids inside the tanks. This is intentional. You will get specific values for them when the answer box appears in the last video. However, you should know that every time you restart the level, these values will change randomly. You can insert wrong numbers in the answer box as many times as you want. That is fine. The values won't change because of that. However, if you close the game and come back, then the known values and thus the densities will be different. So perhaps it is a good idea to do what I did in the car example. Try to write out equations for row 1 and row 2 written in terms of general variables and then simply put the numbers in. That way you can always come back and calculate your new rows quickly. Once you get the right answers you will be taken back to the game world and the solid panels will be revealed. Good luck with the problem in the next video.